The Druids were ancient priests of what is now France and England. They were very wise men, but they were also very hard men. Ooh. Sometimes okay. when the floods would come, they would sacrifice criminals to appease the gods. They were very careful about the balance of power between nature and man. So, ring of power? The ring of power. What's a ring of power? The ring of power. It went down, down, down to the ring of power. I don't know how it works exactly. But I do know that a ring of power allows two people to share magical power. I also know that whatever the ring is made out of, it must be irreplaceable to the person who wants the ring. I also know that you have to concentrate on the person you want the power from. And if that person is willing, then a bond is created. Maybe by the ring maker. I don't know. Okay. So it's just, it's just a wedding, right? I'll be back soon, Stefan. I promise. I'll be waiting for you to come back, Elena. Okay. So let's go talk to uh, Aunt Judith really quickly. Oh, thank heavens you're here, sweetie. I've been so worried about you. What? There's been another attack, and I was afraid you might have been hurt, too. W what? Uh. Okay. I'm fine, Aunt Judith. How's Margaret? No better. But no worse, either. Doctors don't know what to do. Margaret's condition doesn't change in a week. I'm going to have her transferred to the University Hospital in Fairfax. All right. Aunt Judith, do you know what Margaret did with the key to my jewelry box? I just there saw it is. a little key. Oh, yes, it was on her necklace when Stefan gave me her things. I have no idea when she put it there, silly little girl. <laughs> you silly little girl. All right, dagger. Do you know anything about that dagger that Mr. Richards just added to his collection, Aunt Judith? Dagger? No, it sounds awful. <laughs> I hope Bonnie's not handling things like that. If you really want to know about it, why don't you ask Mr. Romanoff? He might know if it has any historical value. Uh, so the uh, where we learn about the dagger, I just realized and remembered, is actually in that newspaper clipping that is underneath the carpet that we looked at. That had a little piece on her interactive in it. Why does Mr. Richards collect such weird stuff, Aunt Judith? Well, since we were in high school together, Gary's been obsessed with proving the existence of the supernatural. He thinks all these objects of his will help him. I just hope Bonnie's not too susceptible to all this nonsense. What? What do you mean, susceptible? Bonnie's more high-strung than you are, honey. And I've heard talk that her grandmother used to feed her the same wild stories that Gary likes to tell. I just don't want to see her channel all that energy and creativity into something foolish or even dangerous. See you later, Aunt Judith. Please be careful and be sure to be inside by dark. Of course. We don't know what this thing is that's attacking this town. So don't take any chances. All right. Well, that's good to know. So, let's head... Uh, we want to go this way. Yes. Let's head over to Gary Richards' house. We'll go talk to Bonnie. So this is uh, the house here, the main entrance. Let's go upstairs. All right. Here's the uh, main study, I guess. And there's Bonnie. Hello. I'm so glad you're here, Elena. I can't wait to show you what all I've been working on this summer. It's so awesome. What do you want to see first? Uh, n none of it really. I got a question for you, though. Have you ever heard of druids, Bonnie? I heard that they believed in magic, so I thought you might know something about them. Know about them? My grandmother told me I'm descended from them. No way. The druids were like priests or something, a long time ago, and they built Stonehenge. You know that huge circle of rocks out in England? and they built it using magic. 
cool ancestors, huh? Nice. How does your grandmother know you're descended from druids? You wouldn't believe some of the things my grandmother could do. Magic things. Like, find out who you're gonna marry. Or take the evil eye off of cursed sheep. She lived oh. in Edinburgh, what? North Scotland. And they remember the druids there. If you don't believe me, you could read her diary. There's all sorts of neat spells and stuff in there. My father donated it to the library because of its historical value and stuff. Maybe now you won't tease me so much about my psychic stuff. Anything else you want to know about Elena? Yeah, quick question. Uh, how common are cursed sheep? J just out of curiosity. Uh, second, so the book is at the, is, is at the library. So we'll head over to the library at some point and take a look at it. See you later, Bonnie. See you later. Give me a call if you want to go out, okay? All right. So we actually have to go and look at this over here. So we go to the door and then look up and we click on this. <gasps> Get away from there right now. If you're through talking to Bonnie, it's time to go. This isn't a playground. <gasps> Gary is angry. Ooh. Okay, so let's... Okay. <laughs> All right, let's, let's head over to the library then. Uh, so from here, we can actually move backwards. So this is where we click on the map. There we go. Uh, the library is up at the school. Uh, so here's the school, and then here's the library. So, let's go... Uh, there's a catalog somewhere we can look at. I think it's this here. Yeah. So, we've got a photo of Walt Whitman, old American flag, Confederate flag, photo of married couple, copy of murder poster, <laughs> photo of Mary Todd Lincoln, Confederate uniform, Harold Gray's uniform cap, old money, and miscellaneous photos. So, Harold Gray's uniform cap, we are going to want to remember that for a bit later. And here's Mrs. Grimesby. Oh, Elena, I heard about Margaret. I am so sorry. How is she? No clue. She's still unconscious, Mrs. Grimsby, but the doctors can't figure oh, out why. So, she wasn't that badly hurt. <gasps> Poor child. Perhaps it's just a reaction to the trauma. I'm sure the doctors are doing everything they can for her. But, um, shouldn't you be at the hospital with her? I, uh, no, no. It's no. okay, Mrs. Grimsby. Aunt Judith is with her. Oh, well, that's a relief. But I'm sure your aunt would like some company from time to time as well. Is there anything I can help you with while you're here? Uh, there is something you can help me with. There is something I'm hoping you can help me with. I'll be happy to be of assistance if I can. What do you need? Uh, I need to know about the druids. Can you tell me something about the druids? Well, druids were priests in ancient Gaul, Britain, and Ireland. Today they're pictured as magicians or wizards. I think we have a book about them in the history section if you're interested in learning more about them, Elena. Cool. Okay. We'll head over there. Uh, can you just, can you repeat that? <laughs> have you ever heard of something called a ring of power? A ring of power? Hmm. Well, if it isn't something out of one of the Saturday morning cartoons, it certainly sounds like something magical, doesn't it? <laughs> Mr. Gary Richards might know about that kind of thing. I believe your friend Bonnie McCulloch works for him, doesn't she? Yes, she does. Okay, I don't want to hear either of those again, so we're going to say bye with a lowercase b. Bye. <laughs> bye. Stop in again any time, Elena. Oh. Okay, so, uh, I think, yes. 100 wait, 108 ways to kill a vampire. The swinging... Sufi, I, I can't pronounce, or, I don't know, discourse on, either way, uh, oh, McCullough's Diary, here we go, 1928, oh, look at that, dear diary, I'm at the strangest woman today while eating lunch in that little bakery in town, she seemed only a little older than me, but her eyes were so old, she came up to me and told me this poem with a stern warning that it should be remembered for the future, <clears throat> To summon the one who can forge the sharing of strength, bring the light of the blue sky to the light of bright earth beneath a ring of silver, 
in a place of new earth. That's a that is a terrible poem. I'm that is a terrible poem.